There was a time when the BlackBerry was just considered a business tool, common only in North America. These days, RIM is targeting the consumer market and the devices are increasingly popular worldwide. A user may on occasion want to install additional languages onto their device, so we're going to show how that's done. The first requirement is to locate the software necessary to provide support for additional languages. We're going to install the East Asian Language Pack. The software for additional language packs is available on RIM's website, and the next several screenshots show you the path to those files, depending on which model of BlackBerry you have. For convenience, we've provided a direct link to the necessary software on the chumed.com website, which you'll find at the end of this video. When you've located the language pack, in this case the East Asian language pack, on RIM's website, you'll need to download the executable files to your PC or laptop. Save the file to your computer. Don't run it from the website. When you've saved it to your computer, locate the downloaded files and double-click the executable to install the language pack onto your computer. This might sound odd, but you need to install the files for the language pack onto your computer so the BlackBerry desktop software can find it to install it onto the BlackBerry device. The first thing you'll be asked to do is to choose your setup language. In this case, we'll choose English. The Install Shield wizard will begin by extracting the files. If, like me, you already have the BlackBerry desktop software running, you'll be prompted with this message to close it down and begin the process again. But we'll continue where we left off. With the files extracted, the process of installing software on the computer will begin. Follow the prompts. Choose the region where you're currently located. Accept the terms of the license agreement. Let the installation process run its course. You'll receive notice that the installation was successful, and now it's time to start the desktop software. The easiest way to do that is simply tick the box on the pop-up saying that you want to start the BlackBerry desktop software. Then click Finish. When the desktop software has started, connect your BlackBerry device. For the purpose of illustrating everything that could possibly go wrong, we're going to imagine that the desktop software was unable to detect the BlackBerry device. If that were the case, you'd need to click Options in the upper right corner of the desktop software window and select Connection Options. In the Connection Options pop-up, select USB for the connection type. The pin of your device should display, so click OK. If the device has connected properly with the BlackBerry desktop software, you'll see the device's pin displaying in the bottom left corner of the BlackBerry desktop window. You'll see icons on your BlackBerry device showing a connection between the device and the desktop. Then you'll see the clock displaying on the device. On the BlackBerry desktop software, select the application loader. Select Add Remove Applications. The desktop software will proceed to read the BlackBerry device's configuration. And when that has completed, you'll see your device's current configuration. Scrolling down the list, you'll see that the BlackBerry desktop software has detected the East Asian language software and included it in the list of available applications for the device. Select the desired East Asian characters and fonts, then select the desired language and input support. You may see a reminder of the choices you made earlier regarding update notifications. Make changes if you wish, or just click Next to accept your previous selections. You'll see a summary of the selections you've made. Click Finish to let the installation process begin, or click Back to make changes. You'll then see a pop-up displaying the progress of the update process. The process will take up to about 30 minutes to complete. Unfortunately, it's not uncommon to encounter errors in loading such things as your calendar entries, and for this reason, it's always advisable to make a backup of all your BlackBerry device's information before you begin any changes to your device's configuration. That way, you can selectively restore things like your calendar entries at a later stage. Well, we hope you found this video useful. If you have any problems with your BlackBerry device you'd like assistance with, visit our website or give us a call at 0800 488 737